Hello friends, in this video we are discussing chi-square test type number one that is test for goodness of it and this is our second example. So friends, in the last video we discussed whether the breakdowns are uniformly distributed or not. So let's have a look on the second problem. A die was thrown 132 times and the following frequencies were obtained. So dies were thrown 132 times and these are the frequencies obtained. So obviously if you throw a die, what are the possible outcomes? You can get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So it is thrown 132 times. 1 appeared 15 times, 2 appeared 20 times and so on 325, 4, 15. 5 appeared 29 times and 6 appeared 28 times. If you add all this, you will get 132. Test the hypothesis that the dice is unbiased. So friends, what is my expectation? First of all, tell me that. First of all, think of that. What is the expectation? The expectation is that each and every number should appear equal number of times. Ideally, I am expecting that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 all should appear equal number of times. This is my expectation. But is, this is not reality. In reality, it is appeared in this particular manner. So let us start with null hypothesis as discussed. In case of null hypothesis, whatever is given, you take it as it is. So the problem asked is, test the hypothesis that the dice is unbiased. What do you mean by unbiased dice? Unbiased dice means the die which is not biased. Not biased means fair. So my aim is to check whether the dice is unbiased. That means a dice is fair. So null hypothesis, whatever is the given, we're going to assume it as it is. So dice is unbiased. In step number two, alternate hypothesis, what you're going to see? We're going to take opposite of that. So dice is not unbiased or basically biased. What is your step number three? LOS discussed number of times, nothing mentioned in the problem. So therefore, I'm going to take it as 5%. This is my assumption. What next? Degree of freedom. Degree of freedom as discussed, the formula is n minus 1 where n indicates number of values. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 possibilities. Therefore, n is 6. So, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. I am going to go to chi-square table and to check phi this, 0 0.05 this. So, this is the value of chi-square that I am going to get. And after checking, looking at the table, I am getting the value of chi-square alpha is 11.070. Half. This way, check phi on top 0 0.05 and this is the required value. Done with three steps. What is the next step? Step number four is your calculation part. For calculation part, first of all, I need to find it out the expected frequency. What is the expected frequency, friends? Expected frequency means your expectation or problem expectation. If a dice is biased or unbiased, it is asked unbiased. If the dice is unbiased, what does this mean? All the number should appear equal number of times. So therefore, my expectation is I'm going to add all and divide it by 6. So which is equal to 15 plus 20 plus 25 plus 15 the whole divided by 6 and if I'll do it I'll get the value as 22 so 22 is my expectation so let's move on and calculation part observed means whatever is given so these are the observed value expected I'm expecting all the numbers should appear equally so that is 22 the formula for chi-square is first of all you need to find it out observed minus expected so let's find it out so observed minus expected 15 minus 22 minus 7 this is minus 2 3 minus 7 7 lastly 6 the whole square so i want to find it out observed minus expected the whole square that is 49 
फोर नाइन फोर्टी नाइन फोर्टी नाइन थर्टी सिक्स अपॉन एक्सपेक्टेड सो ऑब्जर्ट माइनस एक्सपेक्टेड द होल स्क्वेयर अपॉन एक्सपेक्टेड दैट मीन्स आई एम गोइंग टू डिवाइड दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलम विद दिस दैट मीन्स फोर्टी नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी टू फोर बाय ट्वेंटी टू नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी टू अगेन फोर्टी नाइन बाय ट्वेंटी टू एंड लास्टली थर्टी सिक्स बाय ट्वेंटी टू सो इफ आई डिवाइड आई गेट टू पॉइंट टू टू सेवन टू पॉइंट वन एट वन एट पॉइंट फोर जीरो नाइन जीरो पॉइंट टू टू सेवन टू पॉइंट टू टू सेवन टू पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री सिक्स थ्री If I'll add all this row, see I'm making the formula also summation. So if I'll add everything, I'll get value of chi square. So which is coming out to be eight point nine zero eight seven. So add this, you will get this result. Let's move on. Step number five is conclusion. What is conclusion? Mod of chi square. Is less than chi square alpha. Chi square alpha we got it as eleven point zero seven zero, and this mod value that we got is eight point nine zero eight seven. So it is less. What does that indicate? Accept N H and reject A H. So what does this mean with respect to our problem? What was our N H null hypothesis? The dice is unbiased. So we accepting it. So what's the conclusion? therefore the dice is unbiased so done with the second problem now you might be thinking sir always we do find expected by taking average in both the problems we took average is it always we always take average or what no in the next video we'll discuss what are the different possibilities for finding expected frequency hope you understood the problem thank you